Hi guys, this is Labake Alase and today I'll be making the Nigerian Puff Puff. Puff Puff is a very popular snack in Nigeria. It can be eaten at any time of the day, at any occasion, birthdays, weddings, burials, whatever occasion it is, bridal showers. It is loved by majority of people back in Nigeria and now here yeah, I'm in the UK. I decided to recreate it with my own spices. I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe, comment and follow. True. So what I use basically is the self-rising yeast flour. So about two cups of flour I'm making for myself, my family and some to take to work over the week. So my flour goes in first, then your sugar, sugar goes in next, then this is my nutmeg and a pinch of salt. Depends on how much you like it. And I'm going to use my yeast about seven grams of yeast for this quantity I'm making. So guys, my yeast is going in now. Yeah. It's, it's the instant yeast, so you don't need to proof it or anything. Just, it goes in straight into your mixture. So lastly, I'm gonna be using milk rather than water, just to add more flavor to my puff puff. I don't like to use water. So little by little, then you turn it, turn your puff puff mix. When you start with pouring the water or your milk into your puff puff, you do it gradually because puff puff needs the butter to be at a particular consistency, not too thick and not too watery, so that it's going to form puff puff when you start to fry. So I'm going to put in a little more milk and turn again. So guys, this is the turning process. Mixing, make sure your constituents are thoroughly mixed. This is not yet the consistency that I want. I'm still gonna put in a little more milk. Like I said, you can use milk or water. I prefer to use milk. And the the uh, nutmeg is totally optional. Like I said, I like to try a lot of different spices with my food always. I've never used nutmeg, so today I try to use nutmeg with it. And remember, just a pinch of salt. You can adjust the quantity of salt as the time goes on after your first fry. So, guys, my batter is ready. As you can see, it's very consistent. Look at it running, not too thick and not too watery. Just perfect to go into the oil. Puff puff to me is a soul food. I love it so much. When I was pregnant, I always scraped puff puff and I always made sure I buy from the roadside back in Nigeria. Always. I'm sure a lot of people have their puff puff stories. It serves as early morning food for me most of the time back in Nigeria. And now I'm here making my soul food. This is the best snack to me. Believe it or not. You can see that. See? See? When you get that consistency, you would know. So I'm going to cover it up and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes just to let the yeast do its work and fry. So I've added a little more milk to turn it. Like I said, gradually add your water or your milk. And in this case, I'm using old milk, the British old milk. And this seven gram of um, yeast can be used to bake a loaf of bread. It's a really small quantity, so you don't need to bother about it. So guys, I'm ready to fry my puff puff. After about 30 minutes in the oven, just to let the yeast do its work, my puff is ready just look at the consistency it's so nice 
my oil is going on puff 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 you need to deep fry it otherwise it's going to come out flat it won't come out as rounded as puff puff should look like okay and for the eat you don't need it to be too hot otherwise it's gonna get burned and not get cooked if it's too little you just need to alternate the um frequency of the eat till you get to where you want i'm just waiting for my oil to get hot so i can start to fry and that's my kitchen towels and my plates to drain out the excess oil when you start to put them in the oil they will come up by themselves and flip some would not flip you have to flip them by yourself so that's it it's going on i need to turn them now so guys in case you're wondering it's babaki alase here again subscribe if you've not yet subscribed turn on your notification bells to get notified when i post new videos and enjoy what you see this is nigerian puff puff being made by me here in the uk so my oil is already getting heated up so now i'm going to start with the first round of bim puff puff see this see that okay some use kind of um if you're perfect with with your hand you use your hand otherwise you can use a scooping spoon hmm. so guys you see i made the first one and i realized that my butter was too light so i had to put in a little more flour to thicken it up i ate the first one and it was very awesome actually although it was kind of light so i added a little more flour so now starting to fry puff puff this need it took a lot of mastering for me to get I also use my hands to fry guys take a look at my first experiments they are out here perfectly done perfectly rounded <laughs> so i'm gonna keep on frying now so catch you later so guys this is my last batch going on waiting for the other side to brown so i'll put it on this is my work See, Nigerian puff puff ready, done, dusted. So, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section. I'm gonna put up the um, the description, the rest.